Right, this is just a brief road test for a Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, this is the 3 litre diesel LC5 model, registered YL54YLU. That might be YC54, I can't remember. Um, mileage at the start of the road test is 116,843 miles. The reason we do the road tests is really so customers get to see the vehicles prior to coming to see us. That way, if kind of any issues with the vehicle we can feed them back to you and we do do that as well um, and also just give you some feedback on the car itself the road tests also done on the roads literally just outside our premises so are the same roads any prospective buyer will be driving the car on so in that sense we hope they'll be representative of obviously what you'll feel yourself So starting with the car, um, I always do is I'll start with the engines of the vehicle. Engine starts, first turn of the key, um, pulls really, really well. It really does. It's uh, the, the gutsy, gutsy units. Um, doesn't make any strange. There's no strange vibrations or noises from coming from the engine. It sounds exactly as those we've had previously have done. Um, but so they've got plenty of grunt to it. You know always been strong engines which is you know it's, it's, they, they say they are they're, they're world renowned and so obviously just a regular maintenance keeps them going that way but this is a this is a lovely example uh, no warning lights on the dashboard relating to the engine or for any other part of the car, the car for that matter um, but they're all good engine then drives through into the gearbox of the vehicle typical Toyota gearbox really really tough boxes on these cars um, when putting the car into gear from stationary, from neutral into drive and into reverse, there's no delays, clonks or bangs, which is the kind of the things you want to be looking out for. Um, but in this, in this one, so tight as a drum. Gear changes are very well judged, uh, very smooth indeed. Again, a sign that hasn't been given out in a horrendously hard life. You know, sometimes when they've been on towing low loaders or cement mixers around all their life then clearly you, you, can, you can pull the guts out of anything but uh, this this mechanically feels in very very nice order indeed brakes on the car lovely solid brake pedal on the vehicle pulls up nice and straight just touch the brake pedal and it really does dive the nose down nice and evenly as well there's no pulsing or shudders coming back through the brake pedal which is always a good sign clearly a you know a big heavy automatic uh, is always going to be harder on its brakes than a manual car and you know so you know abused ones or ones that have been to looked after will sort of show up very quickly indeed also as i'm driving along just listing out for noises that shouldn't actually be there you know they, they are actually very quiet cars you know, i've done huge distances in these vehicles and they're very comfortable and very quiet on the move. Um, but obviously if you've you know, got a refitted windscreen or badly fitted sunroof or you know, someone's da damaged the door seal getting in or out, then obviously you know, that, that can allow sort of annoying wind hiss to come in, but there's, there's nothing on this vehicle. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's quiet as it should be, and that, you know, that, that is very quiet indeed. Steering on the car, um, lovely and tight, lovely and so it tracks absolutely bullet straight. There's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel of the vehicle. Um, they're actually sort of quite positive cars to drive for their, their size. It's actually always quite surprising me getting them. It feels they're going to be they're going to be more unwieldy than, than they in fact are. But um, you know, it's it, it's just not at all. And instead of the, the steering, I can't feel any detectable wear in it. It feels you know certainly for the driver's seat very very uh, precise indeed um, it doesn't sort of wander about at all which is always always a good thing quite clearly um, the suspension on the car actually brings me to the first sort of thing to a sort of observation um, previous owner the LC5 has standard road on air suspension um, which uses used sort of air fill spheres and they were controlled obviously by the um, Sorry, just changed my air setting there. Um, yeah, so they, they they control sort of ride heights and things like that. Um, quite common to find on 
cars of this age that the spheres, you know, can over a period of time sort of develop sort of little leaks um, and are quite expensive to fix. Now, someone's gone to the trouble, and it's very well known on these, to have um, put back onto conventional suspension, which is a really good thing, very positive indeed. So, um, this one's now riding on standard truck absorbers, so it's rides and drives absolutely beautifully um, so what you haven't got which you would get if you bought one with air suspension is the potential certainly in the next couple of years to have to do loads of work on the spheres on the car so that's that that's all good all good and it, it rides and drives very 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 nicely indeed i must say and um, they always did that you know even the ones on the, the standard lc4s and lc3 is always a lovely ride and this this is no different to those Looking around inside the vehicle, standard LC5 fare, so it's you know, very nicely done, you know, quite beautifully built. Um, it's, you know, the dashboard's in generally very nice order indeed. The heated seat I've got on at the moment working really, really nicely. Um, obviously, you've got your big sat-nav system there, all fully functional. Heater's working really nicely on the car. Um, but it's all in really nice order. They, they, they finish it really nicely. It's, it's said that the build quality is absolutely astonishing. There's not even a, a hint of, you know, a, a squeak or a rattle from the interior of the car. Um, you know, it's, it, just, it just feels such a nice place to sit. All the controls are really intuitive. They're just, they, they fall to hand really nicely. It's kind of old school, which I really, really like. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, but it's, you know, it's. It, there's no cracks in the dashboard, the plastics on the top there, um, all, all in very, very nice order indeed. Um, it's just going to do a quick check of the cruise control, and that's working exactly as it should as well. And every button I pressed thus far has worked, you know, exactly as it was meant to. Obviously, the, the height control for the suspension no, no longer is active and is no longer active I should say. Um, the only thing that we do know doesn't work on the car um, is the sunroof. You, know, you can open the blind up and have the light coming in um, but we, we found that the switch on that isn't working or someone may have done something with the gubbins inside. Um, not something we're going to be attending to at the price of the car, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you so if it's something you want to get done yourself you'd have to factor that in but as I said, you know, the whole point of these videos is we do say it warts and all. You know, we don't want people coming and then sort of finding out something we, we, we try to sort of hide from you. That's, that's not the nature of our business, certainly. Um, but the car drives really, really, really nicely. And that, that's the whole point of this video, is just to sort of show the vehicle in operation. If there's any issues, which obviously I've picked up on a couple of things there, we always tell our customers. Uh, but essentially, you know, it, it drives very, very well indeed. Um, clearly, if there's anything on the vehicle that I've, or on the test drive that I've missed out, <coughs> certainly not by intent, you know, please do give us a call and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have.